Hi Linux lovers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn monitoring Ceph cluster. So let's see Ceph uh, cluster admin that he should be taking care of how the Ceph cluster is behaving. So as a storage admin, you will need to keep and check on your Ceph storage cluster and find out what exactly is going on at a particular time. And you should be doing it on a regular basis, keeping a check on your Ceph uh, cluster health. So monitoring Ceph is a everyday task. You need to do it every day, like you uh, do do your uh, you brush your teeth every day. I presume that you brush your teeth every day, and and you take uh, like food every day, obviously. So it is a everyday task. So Monitoring include monitoring of monitors, mounts, monitoring of OSDs, object storage devices, monitoring of your placement groups, and monitoring of different services also. So Ceph in itself it comes with a very uh, like a good amount of tools which can you which can be used to monitor your Ceph cluster. So here. I will just show you some basic differences. So for this particular video, I have got two machines. The background will change. Here you will see slightly red of background, not exactly red. So checking the the Ceph cluster is what I'm going to focus here on. So the first command that you should be seeing is the Ceph help. Oh my God, this is warning. This is not a good sign. If you see this, this is not a good sign. I'll show you, I'll execute the same command on a different machine. So this is a different machine here. And if I repeat the same command, Ceph health, it's okay. It is how it should be. The Ceph health should always come as okay. So what exactly is this going on? So this is a warning, number one. The, it shows it's a warning, right? 256 placement groups are degraded not good not good and these are the placement groups which are degraded right and 256 placement groups are stuck unclean which is again not a very healthy sign obviously it's giving me a warning that the Ceph cluster is not in a healthy state it's recovering 100.03.103 slash 355 objects. That means that the Ceph cluster is in the process of it or it is being able to recover 103 objects out of 355 objects in the Ceph cluster. And 29% of my Ceph cluster is degraded. So this is not good. It's a warning symbol. So you should not have anything like this. The Ceph health should always give you okay, health okay. So first command is this. And even if you want to know more about it, you can give a command Ceph health detail. So this should also come as okay under ideal condition. So if I repeat the same command here, obviously it's going to give me a lot of details. So these all placement groups are degraded. All these are the placement groups with a huge output is uh, thrown up on my screen so this is not good so self health ideally should sh give you the uh, health okay status another uh, very interesting command you can use to monitor your self is a is a kind of a real time monitoring for your information for warning and for errors in the real time, I can give set watch. So as this cluster is already degraded, but it will be giving me information. And if I repeat the same command here, set watch, the health is okay. So it will give you a real time monitoring. So if I try to put a object inside this particular cluster, which is okay, let me try. So I try to put a file here. So you should be seeing some activity going on on the screen here. So 
So I try to put a pi here. You will see a watch will be coming up here. See, the activity is going on here. Right? So this is how you can do a, a real-time monitoring. So there are other commands also, and you need to press Control C to come out. You have apart from hyphen W, you can have hyphen hyphen watch debug, which will show you the debug like events, right? So if I again try to put a file here, let me just change the name, and I put a file. It will be showing you the debug options, right? And you can have info options also. So you can, in, instead of watch debug, write watch info. Info will give you the simple information. So if I try to put one more object here, I'm expecting some activity. Yeah, it is there. You can watch for the security events. Watch sec is again one of the commands. Control C is obviously required here to come out. Then watch warning if you are interested in seeing only the warning events. And the last one will be watch errors, which you can use to watch errors. So these are some of the watch options that can be used to gather a lot of information about your Ceph cluster. And to check the space utilization, how much space I have, how much space is available, I can use the Ceph DF command like your normal DF command. You have a Ceph DF command which will show you all the pools and the use size and the available sizes. So it's a very handy tool. And obviously, like for checking the Ceph status, apart from health, you can also give status. So the health should be coming as okay under ideal condition or Ceph status can also work. Both will give you the same output. It's a shorter version. Ceph-S is a shorter version of Ceph status. So what does it shows? When I say Ceph-S or Ceph status, what it shows? So the cluster, number one, the cluster the first section, the cluster and some ID. This represents the Ceph unique ID for this cluster. This is the unique ID. Health obviously will be showing me the health. Mon maps. This sh is showing you or it represents the monitor map in the epoch version. Right? So information, election epoch version and the quorum status. These are the machines participating in it. OSD map is the first, second, third, fourth section. So OSD map represent OSD map epoch and OSD up and in counts. How many OSDs are up and in? PG map obviously will be showing you the placement group map. It shows you the placement group map version. It shows you the total number of placement groups available. It shows you the total number of pools available that and object totals. It also shows you information regarding your use size, free size and the PG status obviously finally. So this 320 placement groups active and clean should match with this 320 placement groups. So you can use this option to check the self uh, your self status another very interesting command is like the watch you can use the watch self as like your watch command we do it on our linux boxes so it's a real time monitoring again watch clock skewed is there so means i need to check for the ntp so if i try to put up anything here let me try to put up a file i'm doing a real time watch see the client io is being recorded so a real-time watch can be done I press ctrl C obviously to come out so and then uh, one more thing that you can check for the Ceph cluster because Ceph works on the strong authentication we, we call it Cephex 
So all the Ceph cluster they interact with one each other using the key based authentication system. So as a Ceph admin, it's your responsibility to check how many keys are there, how many users are there. So there's a very simple command Ceph auth list which can be used. Ceph auth list. So these are the keys available to me, all the users. So these are the basic Ceph commands to monitor your Ceph cluster. So we have learned about the Ceph health command. We have learned about then how the out output will differ. So if it is a bad cluster, so Ceph health will not give you the will give you heart like heartbreaks, not health warning. It's actually your heartbreaks, right? So using these commands, you will be able to monitor your Ceph cluster in a much better manner, which is one of the key responsibility of a Ceph storage admin or the storage admin. So that's all in this video. In the next video. I will be showing you how to monitor your Ceph mons. Right now, we have just learned how to mo how to monitor a cluster as a like uh, from a bird's eye view or a like overall health of the cluster. Then see you again soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless and enjoy your day.